Jimmy is an elite thrower of the football as far as just, you know, the arm and just like throwing the ball. It's, it's really with intent. When he is comfortable, and, and, and you can see when the mind is ahead uh, and, and, and there's a confidence to it, that, when that ball goes away, you're like, yes. That, that, and, the, and he can fit it in in small spaces. It's when he's not ahead of it and feels, you know, and then still feels like he can throw it or still feel like I can get it done or still feel like, you know, and those are the things that get him into trouble. That's why I've been begging for years for Kyle and Jimmy to build a trust level to be a, so they can both be expansive with each other, and I think more than anything, it's Jimmy coming to a to a, a real confidence about what I'm really good at and what I'm not so good at, and that's that's a challenge. Kyle, I know, is trying like crazy, and then one of the, you know obviously the best one of the best or best coaches in the league in putting quarterbacks in a position to be successful. How can I put Jimmy in a spot where he those throws that you described as dimes, those throws that described as in tough scenarios where he's putting the ball. How do I make sure that I put him in those spots and try to avoid because I'm not sure that he's managing that the way that he wants to. I need to manage that for him. And so that's up to Kyle to try to figure out. And that's why Kyle's frustration sometimes is that I'm, I'm managing it. I don't want to manage it. I want to let it rip. And so that's just an ongoing process as long as they stay together. And that's true for any coach, quarterback, a great, great combinations. That always is going on. And that's why Kyle maybe has the toughest job this week in trying to manage and make sure that he puts Jimmy in a spot to be successful on the biggest stage with everything on the line.